So here we have a bit of waste ground. It's not very attractive. But what we did is a little bit of guerrilla gardening. Some very sort of poor soil. And then we began to put some stones round about it. There. I've got some fox gloves. which will self-seed. There was this uh, Siberian uh, poppy, which is that one there. Looks like they're all closed up now for the evening. But they're coming into bloom. And then these uh, little blue flowers, which I don't know what they are. more uh, fox gloves. There's a mix of wild flowers in there. And uh, those are weeds, but they look quite magnificent weeds. And I don't know what this is, if it's coming from the package of wild flowers or if it's a weed as well. Looks quite interesting. Those are some oak down there, a little oak tree coming up. Cart's paw. And look at this beauty for a weed. Isn't that nice? Looks almost like a Scottish thistle. So that's the gorilla garden. I think it will fill out quite nicely. We may get some more interesting plants coming. But those are nice. There's a bee going into that foxglove. I don't know if I can catch it. It's going to come out. Shaking in there. There it went. Whoa. Off it goes. The Gorilla Garden on the waste ground. They say that in urban environments, if you're able to plant flowers, then it uh, brings peace to the area. There's not so much a vandalism when you have uh, flowers growing. I hope that's true. There's a little white one down there. Same as these blue ones. That's it from the Gorilla Garden.